Russian authorities reported that they had thwarted attempt by Ukrainian forces to cross in Bryansk. This incident follows a previous bold attack by Kiev that Moscow has struggled to counter. Recall, in August the Ukrainian group attempted to enter the Bryansk region, which borders Ukraine, Belarus, and adjoins Russia's Kursk region, which has been the focal point of a Ukrainian incursion since August 6, through the region's Klamovsky district. The Ukrainian forces reportedly retreated after suffering fire damage from Russia's FSB border service and the Russian military, Bogomaz continued, adding that the situation had been stabilized and brought under the control of the regional authorities Alexander Bogomaz, governor of Russia's Bryansk region, stated that an armed group tried again to breach the border but was repelled. He did not specify if Ukrainian soldiers were involved but assured that the situation was stable and under control by the Russian military. There was no immediate acknowledgement or response from Ukrainian officials. Responsibility for previous incursions into Russia's Belgorod and Bryansk regions has been claimed by two murky groups, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Freedom of Russia Legion. Russian officials and state media have sought to downplay the significance of Kiev's thunderous run in Kursk, but the country's forces have so far been unable to dislodge Ukrainian troops from the province. Western officials have speculated that Moscow may send troops from North Korea to bolster its effort to do so, stoking the almost three-year war and bringing geopolitical consequences as far away as the Indo-Pacific region. Russian officials and state media have sought to downplay the significance of Kiev's thunderous run in Kursk, but the country's forces have so far been unable to dislodge Ukrainian troops from the province. Western officials have speculated that Moscow may send troops from North Korea to bolster its effort to do so, stoking the almost three-year war and bringing geopolitical consequences as far away as the Indo-Pacific region. Russian lawmakers Thursday ratified a pact with Pyongyang envisioning mutual military assistance, a move that comes as the US confirmed the deployment of 3,000 North Korean troops to Russia. North Korean units were detected Wednesday in Kursk, according to Ukraine's main intelligence directorate, known by its acronym GUR. The soldiers had undergone several weeks of training at bases in eastern Russia and had been equipped with clothes for the upcoming winter, GUR said in a statement late Thursday. It did not provide evidence for its claims. Russian state TV released footage Saturday of what they said were Russian sappers searching for and detonating mines in the Kursk region. According to the video story the sappers worked on the territory from where Ukrainian forces have retreated. In Russia, Air Defense brought down 17 Ukrainian drones over four regions near the border, the Defense Ministry in Moscow reported Saturday. Also according to the Russian Defense Ministry, Moscow's troops have continued eking out battlefield gains in Ukraine's industrial east, capturing the hamlet of Oleksandropil in the Donetsk region. Russia has been conducting a ferocious months-long campaign along the eastern front in Ukraine, gradually compelling Kiev to surrender ground, but Russian forces have struggled to push Ukrainian forces out of its Kursk border region, following an incursion almost three months ago. Основная задача наша – это обезопасить освобожденные территории как бы для мирного населения. То есть мы идем, да, мы следуем, мы идем следом за штурмовыми подразделениями, обезрежем те, те подарки, те сюрпризы, которые нам оставил враг.
эту ямку ложит мину ловушку. Также ее взводит и на, и на эту мину ловушку накладывается еще одна э, мина. В случае, если поднять эту пуменку, грубо говоря, то сработает мина ловушка и получается двойной заряд. Ну, то есть двойной ущерб, двойной вещь человеку. Поэтому все мины уничтожаются на месте накладным же зарядом. Footage of Russian army attacking Shakhtyar settlement near Ugladar city in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region has been released. Several columns of armored combat vehicles of Russian armies, Vostok, Group Advanced, opened fire on the position of Ukrainian fighters and broke through the defense to reach the settlement. As can be seen from the footage circulated on Telegram channels, the Ukrainian fighters who were positioned not far from the area, targeted the column of the occupying army with various weapons and managed to slow down the advancing Russian troops.